Hello there, everybody, and welcome to this feature presentation on YouTube. I am King Mac, your hamburger pal. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to enjoy a hot, fresh cheeseburger along with some delicious golden french fries, a tasty milkshake, and a nice soft drink. Also, be sure to grab some hot buttery popcorn while you're at it as you enjoy this episode of TT Burger Game Reviews on YouTube. Hey everybody! Welcome back. You are watching TT Burger Game Reviews here on YouTube, and I am your host Tony. TT Burger, the PlayStation gamer, they call me TT Burger. Yeah, I know I've noticed I've changed my name here. I just want to do it a little bit fancy, but I still go by whatever you want to call me TT Burger, yeah, Tony, or TT Burger, the PlayStation gamer, whatever you want to call me, because I am the PlayStation gamer here, bringing you more PlayStation, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and PlayStation 4 game reviews here, and more. Take a look at some of the best and the worst games on the Sony consoles, and more. But today we have, have another multi-part viewer, episode 269. This will be episode 269, part 1 of 4 parts this time. A franchise by the company Guerrilla Games, a first-person shooter franchise with a Sony exclusive. Pretty much the PlayStation Station 2's version of Halo, stuff taking place in the in the way future and everything. Before I get started here, I want to give a shout out to Free Green HD and Sub-Zero MX King Mac, along with Steps that have Lamia, Brickles with Stateside, Meg, some Black Healer, Griffin Puff, um, the homie RJ, Uncle Geo, Rockstar Pools, uh, 69, The Sensational Gent, um, the Uncle Gira, um, and more and more and more. To everyone who supported this channel, Morpheus, this channel won't be as big as today. Now we're going to be, uh, get started here. We're going to take a look at the franchise that was a first person shooter where you where you fought the hell gas and stuff and everything, and that is the Killzone franchise. A you know, four part review we're looking at. PlayStation exclusives and PlayStation 3 exclusive and PSP spin-offs and stuff and more. We're going to take a look at that. It's four parts here. Part one, we're going to go back to the year 2004 and look at Killzone for PlayStation 2. Then for part two, we're going to go back to the year 2009 and see Killzone, Killzone Zone 2 for the PlayStation 3 and it's all glory and everything. Then we zoom ahead to the year 2011 where we take a look at the third game in the franchise, Killzone 3. And then finally, we're gonna wrap things up with the launch title for the PlayStation 4 back in back in 2013, Killzone Shadowfall. We got four games here, four games here, and we got we have a lot to talk about. Let's get started. We're talking about the original Killzone for the PlayStation 2 by Guerrilla Games, released on November 2nd, 2004. This game was also also a part of the uh, part of the Killzone HD Remaster trilogy on the PlayStation 3, released in 2012. Now for Killzone. While it is a decent game, it has fun factor to it and stuff of a person shooter, the game has problems, these problems have made the game not age all that well due to graphical issues, gameplay issues, and more. Is it broken? No. But it does have issue, issues such as popping, screen tearing, unbalanced enemy AI, and framing issues, and more. But the game still has fun factor to it despite the issues. But what will the score be? Well, you will find out. Let's get started. Why don't we get started here? Now, Kills of this game came out, everyone was saying how this game was a Halo ripoff and someone just copying Bungie with this game and blah 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 blah. Don't play the game, it sucked, it, it's a Halo ripoff and everything. I'll be one of the people to say that this is bullshit because this game is not a Halo ripoff despite it taking place in the future like that. I don't care. Do you fight the Hellgas in Halo? No, you fight the Covenant. Do you have four playable characters to choose from? No, you only have one or two, depending on the game style. Like that you have puzzles to solve, a variety of weapons in the gameplay, and more. Do you solve puzzles like this in Halo? No, this is not a ripoff. So the Halo fanboys need to grow up. Even if it was, let Sony do what they want for Crown Loud. Who cares? And I do like this game more than Halo. I was never big in Halo except for Halo Combat Evolved, but that was it. I mean, while Killzone could have been better. I still res respect this res respect this game more than Halo. These Halo ripoff claims are bullshit. So let's sort of do what they want. And because of this shit, people hate the game with a passion. When me, I think it's a decent game with issues. It does not deserve all the hate. Killzone's story takes place in the year tw 2357. In a fictional world where a nuclear war happened two years ago in the year 2055, it has made the planet Earth uninhabitable. 
Because of what happened, the world government formed an order known as the, uh, the United Colony Colonial Nations, also known as the UCN. They moved to establish human colonies in the system known as the Alpha Centauri Three that occupies two planets, which are the Vecta, a rich Earth-like world, and Helgen, a barren wasteland. War broke out when Helgen Corporation sought to buy ownership of Shiva Vecta. The UCN was against Helgen un unfair practices. This war was labeled the Helgen War, and this has been bad since the year 2355. This then leads to the Interplanetary Strategic Alliance, aka the ISA, which is the military arm of the UCN, driving Helgen out of Vecta. The exiled colonists of Helgen established their own civilization on Helgen, but many of the harsh environment and atmosphere killed many Helgens, where they had to use respirators and oxygen tanks and stuff to breathe. They then sought them. They then became the Hellgas. They mutated into pale skin and skin hairless humanoid monsters, making them stronger. Now it is a war to stop the Hellgas before things get worse. Killzone puts in the role of four members of the ISA. We have, we have Captain Jan Templar, the main protagonist and all-around leader of the, of the ISA. We have, we have Shadow Marshal Luger, aka Jennifer Lawrence, who is a sneaky stealth assassin of the other group. We also have Sergeant Rico Vasquez, who is the heavy weapon motherfucker of the group, who has a pure hatred against, against Hellgas and stuff, and swears a lot and stuff. And then we have Gregor Haka, who is half Hellgas breed, who was a spy by the ISA to investigate Hellgas. Rigo does not trust him because of him being half Hellgas, but grow to like him eventually. You start off with Templar, the all-around captain team with an assault rifle and more, but you unlock other characters later on when you unlock them. Then you can select them altering the gameplay of each level depending on the character you choose. And me personally, as soon as I locked that character, I would use that character to to like, you know, experience some stuff, and you can do that in any way you want, which adds replay value to it. The story is really good. Very strong with our characters being likable, even the angry Rico who cusses all the time, but hey, it adds character personality to him. My favorite character is Templar, since he's the all-around character and leader. I enjoy Lugu with her stealth moves and night vision and thermal vision and stuff and silently killing enemies with her sniper rifle and more. Rico has the heavy machine guns who is good for people who want to just shoot away. And Haka is my least favorite character because I do not know, he feels very weak, weaker than the other character's stuff and he's like, he has an assault rifle and a knife and a pistol and he can pick up more weapons and stuff, he just seems like he can take a lot, a lot of damage and stuff. I mean, he can, he can, take, 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 he can, he can go down very quickly, I mean. When it comes to the presentation aspect of kills, I have to say it's probably the weakest part of the game. The graphics have not aged all that well. You look at the graphics, I'm sure they have detail of them, but you know it's a lot of popping and like um, screen tearing and the draw doesn't does not extend very far, making it making everything look like a pixelated shadow in the nightmare in the distance and it looks awful. Also the frame rate does not really hold up that well either, it slugs, it slugs along like a snail a lot dropping in the single digits when a lot of actions on the screen. The character models when you see them up close in the cutscenes they look as if they were using the Indian character models and threw them into the cutscenes and they're called a day. And they look out of place because of this and when their mouths move they look like sock puppets. They move around decently so that is a plus but the background elements in the cutscenes are good I'll admit that much. Speaking of backgrounds they have a lot of detail to them but there's a lot of shadowy looking stuff everywhere and the draw does not stay very far very far. It just pops in and stuff and looks pixelated looking when it's in the distance. The gun models look good. I did, I, did, I, I'll admit that. It's cool when you climb a ladder and you see the character's arms grabbing the ladder as you move up or down look, make it look realistic. The explosions look, look nice, the weapon effects look cool, and they have, there's some blood in there, but it's not really a lot of blood and stuff. It looks like Kool-Aid and everything like that. And you know, and the enemies die weirdly, look like there's somebody will die standing up when you shoot them, which is weird. The HD remaster version fixes this problem. I just see the idea of wasting money on a game you already own, just like updated graphics and frame rate and stuff. And let's do something like I do with Yakuza Remastered did, I'm not going to buy the HD Remaster and stuff. Killzone and the sound department is better than the graphics. The voice acting is top notch, I love the voice acting, it's hard to say who has the best voice in my opinion because they all sound really good. Sure Music is very okay. fitting for the game and it cannot get any better than that. The weapons sound good, better than most most Call of Duty games today and for sure and better than Halo as well. Killzone the gameplay aspect is decent, could have been better but there are problems that do really affect it. First off, getting to the good parts, we have a futuristic first person shooter with a lot of weapons to use with different characters to choose from and it adds to the fun factor and variety and changes the levels for you. You have a lot of weapons to choose from, ranging from assault rifles, machine guns, pistols, bazookas, grenade launchers, and 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 you have a knife for stealth sneaking and stuff. You can only hold three of them, but I mainly use the default weapon each character that have like little green thing on them and stuff like that or whatever you feel like using. You can mount machine gun turrets, you can use stealth as well, like as Luger and like as you can shoot everything inside with Rico and more. Some weapons have altered modes of fire as well, like using to shoot grenades and everything. You can also regenerate your health a little bit, so you can take a little more damage in the fire effect before you die. You have grenades that come in handy too. 
and you have multiplayer as well and online up multiplayer up to 16 players. I have no opinion on the multiplayer because I did not play it. So if anyone did, comment down below and tell me how it was. And this is the good, this is a good game that could have been better. It is not a Halo or a Halo ripoff. It is better than Halo, but I have the negatives. The game is really hard. The Hellgast enemies take a lot of damage. You think you kill them, sometimes it's only for them to keep, to keep going at you. The controls are a little weighted and stiff, making it hard to aim your weapon. It does not help that the Hellgast move around, around so much, too. You cannot pilot vehicles. It would have been nice if you could have hopped in the tanks instead of that and just, just shoot down there with the tanks. There are a lot of graphical technical issues that affect the game, mainly the popping and the laggy framing the screen tearing. Character models look awful in the cutscenes. Some of the weapons are weak and headshots don't even affect the enemies at all, making you waste ammo more than you should. You die a lot. I do not mind the challenge, but here they take a little too far with enemies swarm at you non-stop without giving you room to breathe. That's your ticket There's not a lot of checkpoints either. Meaning if you die before you miss a checkpoint, you may be, be very close to the checkpoint you die, back to being level for you. And for the most part, I'm stuck. And some levels do not even have checkpoints at all, so yeah. It's a short game, only 5 or 6 hours long. Hotgun's not the fun to play as, but still a decent game that's worth owning better than Halo. But the problems have been ironed out here. Final thoughts, if you if you enjoyed first person shooters like this and sci-fi and stuff, I definitely recommend Killzone. Just be warned, there are a lot of technical issues with it and stuff as well. I give Killzone a 7 out of 10 for the problems I have with it. It's better than Halo, it's not a Halo ripoff, so just say no, that's what I gotta say. Ends it for episode 269, part 1 of 4. Stay tuned, we're gonna dive into the PlayStation 2 era of <laughs> of, of Killzone. Killzone. We call it, look at Killzone 2, starring a new character, Tomas Savjenko, and our char our characters from the previous game are here once again and stuff too. How does this game fare out? You have to find out in the next part, which all I gotta say is Tony, peace now. Have a great day, see you on my review of Killzone 2 for the PlayStation 3 here on TT Bury 8, the TT Bury the PlayStation Gamer as well. Take care, everybody.